what's going on guys welcome to the mustard seed episode 12 today we're going to hop into john chapter 11 bring him back jesus brought back his good friend lazarus from the dead uh, good after friend. good friend uh after four days uh that's deceased a, <laughs> yeah exactly and that's a um this is like a little bit of a human part of of jesus to see like his emotions and his connection and his friendship with with people that were really close to them, with Lazarus, Martha, and, and Mary. Yep. And um, this started his journey to his ultimate end and his end game of what he had to do. <laughs> um, Fulfill it, yeah. Yes. Jesus, you know, he was very good friends with Lazarus, Martha, and Mary. He uh, had good fellowship with them. He wasn't always just preaching, preaching, you know, like we may think. He also took time to relax and hang out with friends and enjoy meals you know like we we, we all do <laughs> exactly <laughs> to humanize like the things that obviously there's this story of what jesus's life was like but then it's like what happened behind the scenes and to think of his relationship with martha and mary and lazarus like that must have been a place where he went to kind of step away and just relax and to just be with friends and, and family people that are close to him so that's really cool and that obviously is why he felt this way about you know the death of his good friend the shortest verse in all of the gospels in all of the bible right jesus wept just two two words jesus wept so there's clearly an emotional attachment to and, and a connection to to this this uh part of jesus's life yes and jesus uh he wept because he met you know his friend it was one of his close friends but he also wept because everybody had such little faith that's right and yeah yeah that that was one of the main reasons and he he says that throughout this multiple times mm -hmm. about like just have faith and like people who believe in him you know sure there's no death so it's more than just uh a symbolism of like oh, actually a literal you know, resurrection from death, like to bring Lazarus back to life. But yeah. it's it's a lot about him talking about our faith and having faith in him. Like when he got the letter uh, telling him he was two days uh, away, I believe. Yeah, I believe, I believe right. He was and um, he told his disciples, he told them that Lazarus is just sleeping. And he is, uh, they're like, if he's just sleeping, he'll recover. And he's like, uh, he told them that he is, he was more powerful than death. Yes. And they didn't understand that. And th this is why, like, I believe it, 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 everything's all connected, obviously. But this was, like, he had to do this to show his, what he was about to do, how he was going to come back. Like, he had to get everyone talking. It started everything, because then uh, he annoyed. Oh, yeah, the yeah, high priests. The high priests. The, they're all, all like. This was on their radar because this story went everywhere, <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's what he wanted to show that he brought someone back. Sure, it's like he, yeah, he, letting all everything play out in the way that it's supposed to, according to to the plan. Um, but where were we going with the um, Lazarus being dead for four days? We were mm -hmm. talking about that. Like, it was funny because he never, he didn't really like rush over when he heard like Lazarus was sick or he fell ill. He didn't rush there, but. Maybe that was a part of his plan, the idea of, like, now when he arrived, Lazarus had already been dead for four days, and they mentioned that a couple times, and it's like, to, to add even more to the miracle of bringing him back to life, to be able to say, Lazarus was dead, like, people realized that, it was four days that had passed, and he brought Lazarus back to life, like, that was just even so much more powerful because of that timing of it all. And what you said, you told me about um the jewish uh yeah the jewish the, like ideal yeah, idea the soul. the soul the soul is still within the body or connected to the body for three days so for them to say four days in that jewish you know teachings and understandings it was like he was dead dead he wasn't just he was dead <laughs> so yeah big powerful you know action for jesus to bring him back to life for sure and uh martha and mary they they wanted Jesus, they wanted him to come real fast and heal uh, Lazarus. And then when he finally gets there after the fact, when Lazarus is dead, uh, Martha's like, you could have healed him. 
If you were here, it would yeah. not have happened. Yes, and he just hugged her, and, he, and then he said to her, "Believe, and you will see the glory of God." And then he walked over to the tomb. That's where he started the weeping, and then everyone's like, "He's oh, weeping. <laughs> he must have cared. <laughs> he really cared. Yeah. He really cared." And that's just uh, like to hear those words, like Jesus wept to think, yeah. like Jesus is human. Like he's human. He came to this world and lived and walked, you know, this earth just like we do every day. So. The biggest piece of that, I feel like, is just for him to show um, human relation, human emotion, and things like that to connect it. And the biggest part of it is all of the belief in Jesus. Like with Ma Martha saying, like, if you were here, this wouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. And how we can relate to that in so many ways when we have issues. And Martha, like, doubted him right up to the point because, like, then she followed him when he was going to the, um, to the grave site, the stone. And he says, remove the stone. And she's like, he's been dead for four days. Like, the, like Ryan said, they pound that in in this um, verse. Like, they say it at least four times that he's been dead for four, four days. days. Yeah. Because uh, that is a very important um, piece of the piece story of in that. And I like how we can connect this to just ways that we can feel about, you know, tough, difficult situations in our lives. Like, here's Martha and Mary... Basically, they understand that, you know, Jesus is who he is and that he is the son of God. Because Jesus talks to, he talks to Mary about that. Um, is he talking to Mary or Martha? He's talking to Martha about that. He's like, do you believe who I am? She says, of course I do. You're the son of God. But it's, it's very common and we feel that, I feel that all the time where I think, oh, if only, you know, things went a certain way like why did we allow this to happen like god why did you allow this to happen but what jesus is showing us in this whole story as well and i think that's just the main theme for us here is like through that heartbreak right we talked about that through the difficult situations like jesus will overcome all of it and that it's our you know calling and our job to try and find a way to trust in in jesus and what his plan is and why things play out the way they do and uh, right before he brought Lazarus back, he, right before he brought him back, he says, um, they says he prayed and then yells, come out, Lazarus, come out. Yeah, exactly. And Lazarus, come out. The chapter ends. <laughs> he ends. Mm -hmm. And that was something too, we were talking about that a little bit before. Like, I really wonder how everything did play out after the fact, because when that whole pro like situation happened, the high priest and everyone really... Yeah, they wanted Lazarus dead, dead again. They created a plot to kill Jesus, and not only to kill Jesus, but they had a plot to kill Lazarus. Yeah. Because Lazarus was a big... He, he was, was a symbol. He was a big symbol. Of people now seeing Lazarus alive again, and that's just such a concrete situation to be able to be like, wow, this is something Jesus did, and to follow him in that way. So I'm curious how that whole thing played out, right? I don't know if maybe it is, and we just haven't gotten to that point yet, but there was never a real conclusion on Lazarus's life after death imagine that imagine being dead and then living yeah, again yeah. <laughs> sure I have a different outlook on life that's for sure but so the biggest theme I think that we're gathering from this story and the death of Lazarus is it really kind of ties into a couple of other things and we talked about it a bit last week right all things are possible through God and it's it's our belief and it's our faith to trust in God and to understand you know that there is a plan and that when things are difficult he's still there to overcome the darkness he brings the light into the darkness and so yeah. like it just he was on earth and he, to show how powerful he was more powerful than death to bring someone back yeah where like at that point like it wasn't like he could just be like hey dad uh send him down to make this easy <laughs> powerful just, stuff he had to do this to show you know to i think it was he had to bring Lazarus back to show people, to make people believe, like, in him more and to strengthen the whole... Strengthen the belief the story, of, right? uh, yeah, of what's, what's about to happen with him and how he's coming back in three days. Because then, if the disciples are going around saying, oh, Jesus just came back because not many people saw her, um, Jesus after that, uh, they would be like, no, he didn't. But then they were like, oh, what? probably did he brought back uh lazarus and he did that um, amongst some many amount of people of course 
the, the timing of it too within John's gospel. This is kind of the latest. It all story. leads right into sure. Because then after that, um, when he rides the donkey into Jerusalem, right? It is Jerusalem. Yeah. I want to say it. yeah. And, and that was the prophecy fulfilled. Exactly. That was Palm Sunday and yeah, yeah, the whole thing. So it's really leading up to this ultimate um, fulfillment, the end game of of yep. Jesus's teaching and his life. So um, one quote that Jesus says. Uh, in this world, bones will still break, hearts will still break, but in the end, light will overcome the darkness. And that is just a beautiful... Yeah. What a summary for everything yeah. that the story is. So, yeah, that's great. And it's, it's a reminder for us, when things are broken, that light will still overcome the darkness, that yep. our faith and our belief in, in our Catholicism, our Christianity, or in Jesus and God, that will overcome any darkness or troubles that that we're feeling so cool reassurance to us to say yep. this is it so cool good stuff so uh we're gonna end in a prayer uh, in the name of the father son holy spirit amen dear lord thank you for giving us this story of the death and the rising of lazarus for showing us that you were always there when things are difficult things might be tough and we're experiencing darkness you're always that light that will overcome the darkness lord we pray for for our trust in you to increase our faith in you and to understand that all things are possible through you in your name we pray amen father son holy spirit amen so guys we got uh big news the website is up and launched uh as of right now yeah so you can uh check the uh in the link below the buy and click on it check it out Re yeah we're gonna create some content through there mm -hmm. try and post um blogs throughout the week throw different resources in there connections to links that we might be following so uh just another way to interact and to continue to put to put out what we're absorbing as well yep. so we can all kind of gather in through it together and you can follow us on twitter on facebook we have a like group um so there's plenty of ways to reach out. Uh, please do. Um, let us know if you want us to pray for anyone, anything like that. We're here for you guys. Continuing uh, to grow. Yes, we are. And Must please check out the website. And uh, thank you guys. Appreciate you. Yep. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Thanks. Peace.